My name is Paolo Svetz and I am the facility manager of the Cryo Electron Microscopy Lab at University of Milan. What we do in, in the lab, we are interested in investigating the structure and the function of macromolecular complexes as viruses, membrane proteins and other uh, enzymes in order to get a better understanding of their activity and also, most importantly maybe, to understand what goes wrong in a disease scenario. In the lab, we are interested in to study the architecture of a complex that is not only knowing the shape and the morphology, but connecting the shape to the function. This way we can get a better understanding of all the enzymatic processes. But in order to do that, we are employing an integrated approach to structural biology. That means that we do investigate at several resolution levels the different macromolecular complexes that we work with. For example, we employ X-ray crystallography, uh, NMR, and most importantly, because it's our main technique, single particle electron microscopy. When I first came across this project was a bit of an issue because everything was based on uh, recombinant models. So you could not really get an understanding of the sample directly from a pathological situation. Thanks to CryEM and thanks to single particle analysis, we could directly extract those filaments from the heart of a patient who died from amyloidosis and we could get high resolution information about the structure and uh, the overall architecture of the filament. Now that we know uh, the structure of the uh, amyloid fibril, we can go back and we can get a better understanding of the whole process, so how we got to the final filament from the, the parental light chain. So far we are the only high resolution cryem lab in Italy, that means that we have a huge responsibility towards the community, the scientific community, and we have a, an open door policy. So we tend to share all the protocols and methods, and uh, for this reason now uh, we had two practical workshops within the same year and we try to select participants from all over Italy in order to kind of share in our expertise and knowledge of the field in order to build up a better CryEM uh, community uh, in Italy. So the way I see my research line and the CryEM research field progressing throughout the years is towards a uh, more democratic approach to cryoEM, so anyone should be able to perform a vitrification screening test and collect high resolution and high quality data in order to get a high resolution 3D reconstruction.